Hello, welcome to Strat Chat 27. My name, sorry, this is yeah, Strat Chat. My name is Martin. Welcome to episode 27. There we are. That's that's the way I was meant to say it. Look, I don't think this is going to be a very long episode. I've absolutely, absolutely mucked this up. I thought I was doing really, really well. We're well on our way to, to uniting the South Slavs. We've only really got a handful of counties left to go. And look... And one of a commentator, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't get your name. I should have looked before I came on. Said to me, "Watch out! The Mongolian Empire is getting very, very close to you." Okay, it's here. Notice this last time. There's been no fighting yet, but we got sixty-five thousand Mongol troops. Of course, it's all those horse archer things that are. Oh, it's going to be really, really difficult. I don't see how my 13, 14,000 troops going to help much. I've got a little bit of money. I could get some. Um, I, I could get some mercenaries, but <clears throat> it's not going to be any good. It's not going to be any good. And um, be interesting to see where Basileus fights. So my understanding of the way the rules work, and I've done some research, and I've been asking my patrons who've been who've been like giving me a little bit of advice on uh, on the Discord. Essentially, Basileus could have bent the knee instead of facing this war in which case we would have a new liege and that would be fine we would have a very very powerful mongolian liege under which we would be able to continue to expand into the south slav areas unite the south slavs and continue to be extraordinarily rich and powerful right but he didn't he decided to fight no sign of his army of course there isn't no sign of his army at all uh, I think he's only got about 12, 13,000 troops anyway. He's got no hope of defeating this Mongolian uh, invasion. So I've left with a number of choices. I could just kind of like tootle my troops down there and see if I can have a fiddle around and try to try to stop them from winning. I don't think that's going to work. I could join his war and hope that he raises his troops and comes and gives me a hand. But our 30,000 now second-class troops against these 60,000, 70,000 top-class troops, I think we're still going to get absolutely overwhelmed, even if we're able to get local advantages and things like that. So we're left with one option. Gain independence before the Mongols get here and start winning the war and I think once they start winning it's going to be pretty quick if we look at this guy he's only involved in one war and that's the one against um, us my understanding is that I will lose everything or at least virtually everything do you want to be worth looking right okay gosh this is even worse okay so I will lose everything, all of the actual counties that are within the de jure Byzantine Empire, which is all of my main territories around here, but also Bulgaria. But not this bit. So I hang on to this. The problem is none of the counties there are mine. They're all owned by vassals of mine. So if I'm lucky, I might end up with a few ducal titles, maybe even a kingdom title, but no land to back it up. A massive army. I won't be out of the game, but it would turn this into a very, very different kind of run. And I would be tempted to say, that's the end of it. We lost. We didn't achieve what we set out to do. Um... And the other is to gain independence. If I can gain independence from Basileus, if I can gain independence, there is a chance, because I could then accept, bend the knee to the Mongols when they offer to invade me, which they inevitably will do, and just get myself a new liege. Either way, utterly, utterly terrifying. Right, let's shrink my head and get into the game a little bit. 
Right, so my army is very, very close. In fact, this is the 31st of March, so on the 1st of April my army will be back at full strength. Having said that, I could make it bigger. I can have two more um, armoured footmen. I could have two more pikemen. I probably would do that if I was going to go and try and fight the Khan. But I'm not going to go and fight the Khan. I'm going to try and become independent. I don't have very long, and I think it's going to be really, really difficult. How powerful is he himself? 14,000 troops. But he's engaged in two wars. One against the Mongols, and he's also attacking somebody. Okay, so hopefully he's going to be busy for quite a long time. Whew. What we need to do is strike absolutely immediately. I might wait till the 1st of April, but no longer than that. Let's see if we can get ourselves some allies. Okay, first off, who's this girl? Let's break our betrothal to her. And your brother, well, he can break his betrothal too. Okay, right, let's start with him. Nearby, powerful army. Holy Roman Empire. Not that powerful an army. Involved in three wars, probably not that useful an ally. Hungary. It's a lot of troops. Has a daughter. Arrange marriage. Let's go for it. Georgia's a significant force. We've only got one girl. She's married. Now, I've got a, a real issue about how I do this. So I can right click on Basileus and I can go to Independence War. It's going to cost me uh, 360 pounds. I can afford that, that's no problem. Or I can create an independence faction. I've just done it, haven't I? I've just created an independence faction. Press demands, and it gives him an opportunity to grant it. Now, let's just check. There's nothing else I need to do first. Right. Arm is back at full strength. Okay, good. We're getting decent money per month. Press demand. Okay, what we need is our army here. We've got to raise all, because we've got to be doing multiple sieges, because this has got to be a very, very rapid operation. Got a decent commander. Also got someone, a very, another good commander, who's very, very good at sieging. That's great news. Okay, we've got the two alliances coming in. Then war it is. Okay. Okay, right. Let's think about the ally alliances then. So, unfortunately, I can't bring the uh, this guy in. Oh, yes, let's get the 50 gold. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, look, let's get him in. Okay, so he won't accept. Why not? Because he doesn't like me. It's an artifact. Gift it. He'll now accept. Okay. Um, okay, I guess the thing to do here is look for alliance power. Um, yeah, he looks good. Right, let's get to this castle. Okay. Right, let's bring in the other allies, the new allies. <coughs> Okay, nice. Right, so this is level six. This is going to take a little bit of time to fall. So I've got to think about how I can do this most efficiently. So it's level six. Have we got easier castles? We obviously have to take this one. So we need to send our best troops there. Um, we got one here. That's a level three. Now we should be able to take that with infantry reasonably quickly. Level <coughs> level six, a bit slower. Level 3, we can take that. Level 2, we can take that. Okay. Right, what do we need in Byzantium? And there's always the possibility of capturing the, the, the Emperor. He's there. There's, there's a chance of that, isn't there? Okay. So this is level 13. And it has... Um, 
4,400 garrison. Okay. Okay. We want a few more. Oh, bring these back together. Hey, let's start again. So, so we need... Okay, so we've left the onagers there. Okay, that's not the end of the world, because that's quite a difficult castle to take. So we'll leave the onagers there. We need about four or 5,000 troops from here to go there. Who's, who's staying there? Right, he's the right man for that job. Okay, right. Let's get rid of the... Let's send some troops straight to Byzantium. That should do. Okay, we need somebody in charge. It's going to be me. Leaves us with 5,000 troops, mostly. It has to be said, these will be mostly the um, men-at-arms with a few levies. I think we've just got to take a chance. How many men do we actually need here? Level 3, 500. Okay, right. We, we, we're not taking this chance. Okay. Right, so, split off. A levy army. And send them down to here. Need to put someone in command. Mm-hmm. <coughs> right, so this is the plan. These guys are going to stay in the centre for now. Is it worth trying to murder the Khan? I'm getting secrets from his court. Oh, here they come. They're already here. 3% already. How are they on 3% already? They don't control anything. Anyway, never mind. Right, we're building up some secrets. They're useful. I don't think there's time to murder him. Okay, right. This is Chansey. I think we've just got to do it. Actually, let's send them there. And when they get there, we'll send the 757 guys off. Okay. Right. Basically, this guy needs to not be in command here. Because he's got to be in command here. Okay, let's just separate the, um, the mangonels. Send them there. So we're already on 24%, which is surprising. Pretty good. But they're right behind us on 18%. Um, has anybody, any allies joined yet? Yes, he has. Vladimir. Right, okay. Need to keep my eye out for him. Right, it's going to be five months. But at the moment, Basileus is still there. There is a chance that we capture him and win this war as soon as that siege is finished. And in five months, we've got some other guys, some other things falling as well, hopefully, or close to falling. Got some of our allies on their way down, which is useful. Nine months, eight months two months just a few days let's catch Devapasileus no I did capture him oh it's his wife that's going to give me a boost though isn't it no he doesn't care about his wife ok right these guys are going to here blackmail we're certainly getting some good Good hooks. I mean, whether I don't know whether I get this one or not, but right, we're just going to say no at the moment because I need the money more than anything else. Right, what are these troops? Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Right, what do we need down here? Seven hundred and fifty, and we need the onagers. I'll be in charge of those. These will be. Venice and Varak. Okay, where are these guys going? Here. Right, we've won another siege. Puts us on 52. If we could go and take these places, take over these sieges, because this is a this is a strong force. Right, they're on 4 57, we're on 53. This is such 
a horrific race. And anything can happen. Right, here come some allies. That's really nice. Taken some more prisoners. This place has fallen. Oh, this is a beast. This thing is a beast. Okay, I think head there. Take that a bit quicker. I'm back in the lead. Okay, I'm about to win a big battle over here. Unfortunately, I don't think it contributes to my war score. No. Held objectives. Things. Okay. Isn't going to fall in a hurry, is it? Nearly 3,000 levies. Ah. Okay. Do we need many troops here? No. And this garrison's only 360, so let's get... Let's get these 2,800. And send them round to... Here, and that'll release this army to go and fight them. Okay, we've got another castle fallen. It's, it's just painful how close we almost are. Right, these are the key things. These are the things that might win this for us. I mean, that's going to fall in 29 days anyway. This is going to fall in 10 months. Okay, let's get these guys into here. Split off an army. Let's take the dudes. We're about to lose. We've lost. Okay. So I kind of feel like we gave that a good shot. I mean, a few days we probably would have we would have won. Yeah, look, I've got all these bits that are not in the de jure part of the Byzantine Empire. But the problem is, none of them are my counties, are they? That's a county. They're duchies I have no hope of controlling in the Kingdom of Bosnia. I could swear fealty. There's a possibility... He'll give me back some of my ter territory, isn't there? I'm not doing a hunt right now. Pilgrimage, no, no. I don't have a tax, any places that need taxing. Do I, have a, do I have a secret on the Khan himself? No. I have quite a few secrets. Right, I'll go for that one as well. So there's a part of me wants to just stop now and give up. The only thing is, it's not impossible that he's going to give me my territory back. Right, I've got all sorts of people in my prisons. I just don't know how I come back with one county. I, I, I mean, I'm minus 67. It's going to take a little while to get my troops back up to full strength, and then we'll have a better idea what's going on here. Right, let's, let's just release all the all the prisoners for money. Might get me up to a couple of thousand. See what happens. Right, okay, I've sworn fealty. Let's go to the end of July. Okay, that's gone down to minus 25. That's it's better. Look, he's got he's got 43. He needs to give stuff away. Right, let's let's click on him. Let's watch this number going down. 43, it's gone down. Right. I'm going to be his steward. OK, well, that's good news. Getting all this territory away, but he's not giving it to me. Marshal perk available. Chivalric dominance, could have done with that about a year ago. Right, let's keep this here. Yeah, he is giving territory away.
Right, I'm doing quite well with the old money from unusual sources. Right, how can I get him to give me what I want? I should try swaying him. Getting another 580. Super. Have I got any chance, without disbanding troops, of balancing the books? I should at least be having my marshal working on that. Yeah. I mean, on its own, that is not going to make the difference. <coughs> the only thing that will save me, I think, is him returning my lands to me. Could create the Kingdom of Wallachia. It's actually slightly help my financial situation. Or it might just make people come after their claims. He's down to 11, he hasn't given any to me. But he won't be getting efficient money from this. How many duchies does he have? Okay, Mongol Empire. Kingdom, 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 kingdom. He's got a lot of kingdom titles, plus 11. Okay, High Chieftain. I mean, way more than three. Might he start now giving some of those, transferring some of them to me? Can I go and see him? I guess I can go and see him. Okay, I think this is what we have to do. So this looks dangerous. It looks a phenomenally long way. Okay, let's start with this. Right, she's made no difference at all. Ah, this helps us with step. Right, off we go. I've decided to make Countess Vitaka of Paganiccia your vassal. Right, let's accept that. It's actually in my duchy. Right. Can I claim it? No. Right, let's set my guy here, fabricate a claim. Be nice we could if we could get that back, that would be that would be terrific. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I got another vassal. Okay. Right. I got some vassals now. This is my territory again. Okay. Percent. No tyranny. Alright, okay, I've got one of them back. Fabricate a claim on Zelengora, because that was one of mine before this all went horribly wrong. Okay, I'm already on three. Oh, yeah, because I've got Imtotsky. I mean, he might accept it. No, not, not keen. Coraline, I can't press any of your claims. Yeah, because I don't have it. Okay. We'll see if we can press Zelengora. Which means I don't need to be going for a claim on it. Do you know, I hadn't even realised I can take these back. Let's take this back. Let's get my mines back. Raise all men at arms. I'm getting Rama back. Right, I can't get Rama. But I've got another gun. Okay. Donji Crage. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be a year. And I can start getting these back. Oh, look at this. It's a Clumia. I'm getting all of my basic stuff back. Her set is under siege. Okay. Right, at least we got we got a battle now. 
Right, one of victory. That's helpful. Let's go along to here. Okay, my man the mandate seems to be fairly stuck where it is, albeit is going in the wrong direction. God, these events are just nuts. Okay, so we've won this siege, so let's see if we can say, take Srebrenica. Oh, hang on, here comes an army. Right, he's coming to fight me. So we need to escape. Unfortunately. So many secrets. I'll tell you what. Never back down is nice. I mean, I kind of want to get all the way to household guard. Maybe Bill and Justin. Right, can't just win this war. This is interminable. I have got secrets on everyone. Some boils around. Gonna keep my eyes peeled for those. They're not in my land at the moment. Good. Um, how are we doing with the clerical? We are getting some money for clerical. I was not expecting this war to take so long. Right, let's have a battle and win it. Oh, why is this? Why is this war so difficult? Look, I've stopped the siege. Let's get ourselves up to never back down, which at least is beneficial. Okay, I think we should head to here. Okay, right, we should do well against this lot. Right, okay, we won. That's, that, that's, that's very good news. Okay, enforce demands. Okay. Okay, I guess we should try and finish this war successfully too. Right, I am the new culture head of the Bosnians. So let me know if you think I should carry this on. I'm going to be honest. Um, the next episode of this, although we'll be here on Tuesday with the new Indian uh, live thing, obviously make sure you're there. Um, but the Thursday and the Saturday, I'm away. I'm away at a, a wargaming uh, tournament. Um, I'm going to be back for a few days and then I'm going to Scotland. So it actually, we're not going to be able to do this for three weeks. Do we come back? To, is, this, is this salvageable? Of course it is salvageable. Would it be interesting viewing to watch this be salvaged and we eventually go on to unite the South Slavs? Or would that just be long? I'm going to put a little poll up. You're going to have a few weeks to decide. Do you want me to carry on with this? Or should we just start something, something new and fresh and exciting? I'll put the poll up. If you want to have a look at the save game file, the save game file is available to patrons who uh, get access to the Discord where the, all, the, all the save game files are posted. Um, it, you could potentially uh, get that for the, the, the lowest uh, amount and, and you can cancel it straight away as well. So um, I'll put a poll up. Let me know what you think. I think it is salvageable. I just don't know if I have the heart to do it, to retake all of this stuff again. Anyway, take care, everybody. Uh, speak to. I'll see you on Tuesday. Tuesday for live one. Make sure you're there. I want to see all of you there. You know it works. You know it's wonderful when we all are. Cheerio now. Bye bye.